The boys are back. We're outside Old Trafford, Manchester United 1, Rochdale 1. We went through in the end. Yeah, that's one of very few positives that I could actually take from today. I thought the first half we were we were majorly on top. We should have finished them. Greenwood had a, a lot of chances and that is a big positive for today that he keeps scoring and he 100% des deserves to start against Arsenal. I thought Pogba coming back instantly shown why we've missed him because the amount of times in the first half where he played the ball through and he was creating chances for the front three, it was good. But to draw one all with Rochdale and only scrape through on penalties, it isn't good enough, is it? We've got. I feel we're not seeing enough patterns of play. No. Enough, you know, what are we trying to do? I don't really, you know, when we see other other coaches, we can kind of tell what their style is. I feel like Ali's gone away from his. Yeah, that's the thing. Like when he first came in, Ollie, he kind of saw, like, especially against the big teams, he's counter attack, sit back, hit pop, or rush on the counter. But now we're very static and it's like, what is our. What are we? What are we? We counter attacking team, possession team. Because we always struggle to beat teams down at home. I just don't know what our style is, to be honest, and I don't really know what. I don't think Holly does. When it went 1-1 one, as well, it seemed like Rochdale were just comfy and sitting yeah, back. They had two bags of five, and it was really. I, comfy. I said it. I said it to him in the game. As soon as as soon as we scored, the it's it's annoying me this season and other seasons as well that people like Rochdale think they can come to United and actually try and play football against us in the first half. They you weren't had, trying. They were. You, I know you had you had you had Aaron Morley in their midfield, absolutely bossing it, pinging about left, right, and centre. Against United, why are we not? Why are we not dominating? They should be as after they scored, they had 11 men behind the ball. That's what it should be like all game. That's what it should be like to playing against Rochdale. But it wasn't. We all have time, too many bro. slow players on the ball, like Pereira, and we're not ruthless enough to tell to leave them out of the. We squad. always a second ball. thinking every pass as well. Like the first pass, first time pass will be on, and we'll overthink it, and then have to go backwards again. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's like Andres Pereira, especially. I don't think he's done enough to start for United week in, week out. I just think, what does he offer, really? He's not got a bad delivery on him, but he hangs onto the ball too much. He don't really know what he's doing with it, but it's hard to say, really, like, where. Who, who's better than him at the moment who he can play, though? I know, yeah, in, in that team. I thought he actually created a few decent opportunities today, which we just didn't take, but I, I get what you're saying, his overall play. And he doesn't seem to command any position. It's like he's just happy to be in the team. Yeah. He's not. Is he? A, is he a number ten? Well, is he a wide player? When, when oh. he was younger, he played like holding deep. But now he's moving to the left in the centre, right? What, 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 what position is he? Where does he play? He's all, he's all there was a moment where, for about ten minutes, all he did was pick up the ball on the left hand side, cut in on his right, hold it, and it's like, what are you cutting in to do? You're cutting in to shoot. You're cutting in to cross it. Now we just pass it backwards to Fred or whatever. And then there was many times as well where Wambasaka was waiting. On it, literally on the touchline, waiting for a pass in so he can whip it in, and it never got yeah, to him just because we turned we around side to side. Today. With the amount of chances we had to whip it in the box, one Basaki, we just kept going back to Fred or to whoever was there. It's like, why aren't we whipping it in? I know there's no one in there particularly to whip it into, but even like a bounce back or anything in there. We nearly scored from it. Greenwood had a point blank chance four yards out with a, I think it was one Basaki who crossed it in. And it's like, if we can get balls in like that, then let's do it. But it's like, we go out to the wing to then pack it back, pass it back across to the other wing. So what are we doing? What did you make of um, Fred's performance? I, thought, I, I felt that I saw positives in him today that we could bring into the Arsenal game and I'd start him. 100% he was going in for the challenges, winning challenges, spreading the play. Like He did his job today. He's one of very few players that actually did the job. Like, when, like I said before, when we went down the wing and then we cut back in and passed it, he was the one who passed it back out wide again. Yeah, and that's what we needed. We need to play ball forward, Fred, when he gets it. He tries to look for a forward pass, but he's mm, true. But then it's like he's better than what we've got, Fred. He's what we've got at the moment. I think we've got to play him, see how he does in the prem, give him more time because he is 50 million at the end of the day. We've got to see how he does. Yeah, and it's him or Matic. I'd rather have Fred, wouldn't you, over Matic? Because Matic don't offer anything for me. Um, going forward, obviously the cup's very important for us. You want to see us taking these serious? Yeah, hundred percent. Every cup. We shouldn't be saying all oh, the Europa League's not good, all oh, the Carabao Cup's not good. We need, we want to be winning trophies. We don't want to be coming, maybe not even top four, and then not even getting to go to Wembley at the end of the season or going to the Europa League final. <laughs> and then that we, we that, that that make that makes the season when we win a trophy. It's the only positives we can take. And that's what we need to do. You're still you're still happy with Oli, yeah? Yeah. It's, I just think like when you look at it today, the. Every single player in our starting eleven was better than every single Rochdale player in the opposite position. But I just think the players need to, in games like this, they not need to get complacent. They need to start. They need, to, yeah, ruthless. That's what we need at this club. How about you? Uh, yeah, 
He's happy with him? Oh, yeah, I think you've got to stick with him now, trust the, pro trust the process. Like, giving youth players a chance, especially Mason. Mason's think he's going to be class me in the future. It's different career. I think he deserves his start on Monday against Arsenal, 100%. So, yeah. See how we go. Cheers, boys.